bit of a bauble right over the one and only uh, Liz Edwin. I'm going to keep everything in its original box because I get a thrill out of unboxing a box that I've already unboxed, if that makes any sense at all to anybody. campers and welcome to another vlog. I am up early as usual <sighs> and today is going to be transformation day because today is my time to see the hairdresser. We have lots of things to do before we get to that point. We have a very busy morning ahead but I just thought I would show you the before so I think you can see the situation, the situation, yes, and I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm going to be getting a nice old-fashioned proper cut. I'm going to get some inches taken off, freshened up, colour, it's going to be lovely. And uh, I'm just recovering because it's just been a really tiresome week. We've had lots of things going on. We've had ups, we've had downs. But today is pick-me-up day. So I intend on transforming, feeling good, looking good, and just, you know, concentrating on all the, th all the things that, you know, are going to get me back to feeling like me. Because lately I just feel like I've you know, I don't even know who or what or who I am anymore. <laughs> Just been that busy and that tired. Okay, so um, I'm going to work out, have a shower, and then get everyone ready, and then I'll see you next at the hairdressers. This is what you call a smoothie on the run, and I've brought with me my own spoon. Mm. Oh, this is a look, guys, and yes, I am in the bathroom. <laughs> but, oh my lord, I have been waiting for this day for, I kid you not, probably six months, and I am so ready for it. It's going to be a hair transformation. Yeah, with the hand. Transformation. <laughs> and I am here for it. So, with my uh, time that I really get on my hands, I'm going to go grab a coffee and relax. And I think I'm going to paint my nails, which is an odd thing to do while you're at the hairdressers. Um, but I have done it several times before because it's literally a moment where I don't have to pick up a baby or wash dishes or cook for someone or, you know, do anything. So, uh, I might grab a coffee and just uh, paint my nails in a very relaxing casual way while I wait for my hair to marinate okay I realize the lighting is super harsh but I have no makeup on <laughs> and I'm tired you know anyway I have just got the largest large coffee I have ever seen in my life like this is the size of my head people but anyhow I got a uh, free Vicky with it so I'm very excited about that so I'm going to sit here and do my nails I'll show you what colors I brought along so I'm sitting outside so as to not disturb the other patrons with uh, my nail polish smells but I bought I think this is cream of the crop that's right uh Sally Hansen I haven't used this in a while it's very very sheer but I think I'll be doing that while my nails are growing out because they're all at kind of different lengths I actually do end up growing them out to a good length but with work I just end up snapping them or at home um, which is really unfortunate and then just the top coat so I'm going to sit here in the sun and enjoy this I mean I could be on holidays for all I know uh -huh. so you can see where my priorities lie I literally just let's see if I can focus here I literally just wrecked my nail. Look, look at that. I wrecked them. So I guess I wrecked them because I was too eager to open my speculoos cookie. You can see where I fail in these things, but I just wanted I wanted a biscuit, and now I've wrecked my nails. 
So maybe I'll do one more coat and see if that rectifies the situation. Let's, let's see. All right, haircut is done, and I just thought I would show you, well, my good hand anyway, the Cream of the Crop by Sally Hansen nail polish. As you can see, it's quite sheer with a little pearlized finish and topped off with the shiny gel layer on top. So I'm happy. So after probably 12 months of being able to do my nails because I had the time and I'm not showing you my hair because I'd like to do my face first just to freshen up a bit again this is transformation day and I really want it to be a full transformation lunches So needless to say that uh, the rest of the day got carried away with me, not to mention I've been feeling a bit under the weather for the last few days. So I thought I would just take my time and relax. I didn't have to do anything else uh, relaxing per se, just regular house things, but we did get to take So that was at least one thing. That, hold on. That was at least one thing that we didn't have to do. We have children in the bath right now, uh, just playing away. But I will show you my hair color. I think you have noticed especially around here, a bit of a change, but here it is. I, I would say the balayage is not as noticeable, but I did receive a new uh, toner. This is the Cune Care um, Mask mixed with some toner by my hairdresser, so that'll keep uh, the balayage going on. So it's a bit dark on the moment. He's tried to sort of take the redness out of it and make it more of a smoky, a smoky brown um so yeah we'll see how that goes i'm assuming my true colors are going to start shining through again so yeah very different but it's good to have a fresh cut and some fresh hair now what i was going to show you is tonight i think i'm going to dip in and use my Sunday Riley for put over my face. Don't you love that? Great vlogging <laughs> for the first time. So I'm going to give this a go and let you know my right, thoughts. Let's open this bad boy. Ta da! Ooh, look at that. It's even what do they call that? Holographic? Holographic? I don't know. It's like those Pokemon cards that were ho hologram. Yes, it's like the special Pokemon cards. Don't you remember those? I was very into Pokemon. I was a bit of a nerd. Anyway, I meant to start with the Lunar uh, Sleeping Night Oil. So I'm going to pop apparently four drops onto my face. And then I can go in with the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, which is a lactic acid treat. It literally is blue. It's a bit like my hair care shampoo by Red Ken. But uh, let's give this a go. So, um, oh wow, this really is blue. I maybe should have just put this on my skin first. Okay, so this is a bit of a, mm, a bit of a disaster. And I can hear a screaming baby downstairs. So, oh, this is the perfect time to be uh, vlogging a brand new product. I'm really selling it to you, aren't I? Okay, it's all over my head. So just give me a minute and let me tend to that prime. Little handy tip, do not apply if wearing some nice, pretty uh, new pyjamas or white pyjamas because uh, that stuff's going to stain. It's pretty blue. Um, so that oil is now on. I've popped on a few extra drops just because I lost some on my hand. So note to self, just do this process quite quickly. <laughs> and maybe two-handed. I was doing this one-handed vlogging because this is a last-minute thing. Anyway, feels good. Feeling a slight freshness to the skin, let's say. Slight little very tingly. Nothing major though, just very, very subtle. And uh, I think I'll let this sit for a few minutes while I do the boys' uh, teeth, etc. And then I'll come back and use the um, good jeans. Good jeans is going on now and I think I'll apply this directly to the skin. So two pumps apparently. I don't usually pump. Oh, one pump and two pumps. Okay, and I'm going to massage this in. So I should be feeling a little bit of tingling or maybe my skin might go a bit pink with this one. Um, oops, sorry, I'm all over the place because I'm doing this 
one-handed, which is such bad vlogging. And on to the neck and decolletage area. Okay, that is all rubbed in now. And what am I feeling currently? Nothing actually, to be honest. Uh, maybe because the oil was on first and I've never done this reverse treatment where you put the lactic acid on top of something. Usually it goes on bare to do its thing. So maybe next time I use it, I'll put it on bare skin and see how that works. But anyway, apparently within four weeks, I am meant to look younger and fine lines are meant to go. And at the moment, my fine lines tend to be in this area here. So, hey, I'm not gonna say no for this again. So let's monitor the situation. And I've decided I'm going to keep everything in its original box because, I mean, I just get a thrill. I get a thrill out of unboxing a box that I've already unboxed, if that makes any sense at all to anybody. And out of the mist comes this fair maiden. Good morning, everybody. It is a few days on. I still haven't shown you my hair because I've just been that busy. I've had just a rough few days. I haven't slept a lot, um, but today's recovery day. I've been working hard, and that ambient sound is me catching up on all the laundry and if you can probably guess behind me a lot of housework so i've gotten up early made a big uh, made a bit of a start on it and we're going to begin our morning by being semi organized and what i have done is i will show you i have prepped a big bowl of no not homemade coca-cola I've prepped a big bowl of bran muffin mix, which I made last night for the children for the rest of the week because my son has been requesting them. And also, I feel like I lose time in the morning by prepping breakfast. So this will save a lot of time. It's healthy, it's easy, it's portable, and the kids like it. And not to mention, so do I. So I'm going to whack these in the oven in a moment. And my aim today is number one, hydrate. Number two, look after myself and just tick a lot of things off my list. So I made a list in my diary, I'm starting that up again, just so I don't miss out on things and that I actually am progressive and get things done. So that is my aim for today. So I'm going to go and do my new face uh, whilst the muffins are doing their thing. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with my skin this morning. I have just started the Sunday Riley, which you would have seen in the last clip. And I've been using it for a few days and I have noticed a difference. And I did my huge cleansing facial last night, which I will make a separate video on. It oh, Only because I'm so impressed with my pores. They are just feeling so clean and so decongested. It's just such a nice feeling when you wake up to super, super clean skin. So, anywho, I was glad I got to fit that in. Oh, and by the way, this should be a Christmas video. It probably will be released after New Year. But um, here we go. Here's a bit of Christmas stuff for you. A bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a bauble wreath over the one and only uh, Led Zeppelin, the man over there. Yes, very, very festive we are around here. <laughs> Okay, our day has actually gotten furtherly <laughs> complicado, but that's okay. We are rolling with it as we always do around here. Now, I was going to do my hair, but I have run out of time. So, I've just popped in a bit of Batiste. And actually, this is a very special Batiste. So, I will show you what I have used. And that is the uh, Batiste Brunette. Uh, which has no white residue, which is so welcome because I have noticed that it does leave a bit of a grey look to my hair. Um, so I've given this a go a few times and I'm really impressed with it and it still gives the volume just like the Batiste Volume Spray. So very impressed with the new addition to the Batiste range. Now I'm going to just lightly, maybe just put a base on. I've done my new face and I tell you what, I noticed so much of a difference when I'm using my new face in the morning to give me that lift. Again, I'm using it three days a week now and compared to how I was looking this morning, like even the naso labial folds, if you compare it to the beginning, beginning, comparing it to the clip before this, 
<laughs> so much more improved. I'm so happy with the, the contouring and the lift to my face. And it really does perk one's self up off the floor, so to speak. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to put some uh, makeup on. And then after that, I think we're going to head out. Um... I don't feel like hanging about the house today. I do have to hang out the laundry, but after that, I think I'm going to make a stop off at Kmart. I'm actually going there to pick up something very practical. Um, but while I'm there, we might as well have a bit of a look around. So, um, I will see you in a bit. Okay. Okay, darling. Okay, done. So, let's get going. Let's do this um, camera tour. Oh, and while I'm here, so this is the after hair, which is kind of what I was meant to show you originally. Now, the balayage has kind of faded or been, I don't know, toned, but it's toned quite dark. So my hair's turned a lot darker than I expected it to be. Um, so I don't know if I'm entirely happy with my hair, but I am happy that the greys are gone. So I can't complain about that, guys. And perhaps just a few more washes. It might sort of tone out again and um, go back to its lovely sort of lighter hair self because I feel like it's a little bit dark for this time of year. Um, and I'm going to be putting on a little sample from Mecca. It's uh, a perfume called Dear Polly by Wilhelm Perfumerie, <laughs> which I probably said absolutely princely for any people who are actually French watching. It has a very tobacco smell, but I I really like it. Um, and it's very, oh, it doesn't taste that good, <laughs> but it's very fresh and very summery. And that's why, what's what I like about it. Anyway, I will show you my OOTD outfit of the day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get changed out of this, but I'll let you be the judge. So here we have uh, a very, very old uh, kind of a knitted, top from Target in a charcoal colour and I do love my charcoal colours and uh, some leggings. This is all just very practical throw-on clothes for what I've had to be uh, dealing with today. Oh and I realised I'm not wearing any jewellery. I think I might slap on some jewellery and I kind of felt like wearing a dress today but for the sake of this video and going out to the shops I think I'm just going to stay as I am just for the sake of time. Um, and I will come back and do it when my child is kissing himself in the mirror. Thank you. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so for the sake of turning this video around, later on if I get time, I will show you some new in pieces. And when I actually have time to wear the new in pieces, I will show you. But let's see how this goes. I'm going to take you along for this very hectic day today. <laughs> Okay, so laundry is now hung up. It's actually the first time I've been able to use the Mrs. Pegg's handy line, <laughs> which is this little contraption here, um, which is a portable fold up um, clothesline, uh, because the weather is actually nice today. It's 21, and I have donned on a bit of jewelry, so some um, cotton on hoops, and uh, the new in necklace from Reclia, I believe the brand is called which I'm absolutely loving because you get the best of both worlds. You have the gold part, the gold chain, and the uh, pearl thing going on. So meeting both trends there. And I've just popped on an old Calvin Klein uh, bangle, uh, which I was actually lost for many years and then found by my mum in her closet. I don't know what it was doing there, but we have reunited. And I've paired it with a nice old uh, little pearl bracelet there. And just a bit of ring bling bling very simple um i'm a bit upset because i am wearing the good old havayanas today uh and i'm meant to be wearing my cabin molded slides by cotton on because i've been wearing them absolutely constantly if you haven't seen them i'll insert a picture on screen here go and grab them they're amazing a total drip for the easy slides anyway we're going to head out on the tan now i think i'm going to pick up a boost juice um boost juiced <laughs> a boost juice because i am meant to be receiving a free one post birthday so i'm going to see if i can pick one of those up because my favorite one there i think it's called the chalk muscle hustle it is the chocolate overload i'm loving it so i think i might pick one of those up for myself but it's sushi for the children and uh all right 
without further ado, let's get out of here. And yes, I found flags. So that was one thing that we achieved heading out the door. And I've just stepped in to Kmart and I've noticed something new. And that is these glass teapots. Very, very cool. Nice little gifting idea, even in a mini form for Christmas. And we have these macrame table runners, which are also very interesting if you're into that. There's one loose here, it comes in a placemat. Ooh, I do like those. Nice little return placement moment here. I'm rather fond of these, but I'd rather them in the um, like this kind of style, more ropey. My lord, the dinnerware either hasn't arrived in shipment or it's been absolutely cleared out because look, it is bare. I think shoppers have gone absolutely nuts, so I think I'm a bit late to the party here. Very country road esque tea towels and actually very good quality, so those are impressive. I rather like this rattan look tray. So does my son. What do you reckon? Should we grab this one? How much is it? Doesn't say. $10, I think. Hmm, might be a nice little feature on a coffee table or something. No? I think it's all right. We'll keep it just in case. I like the look, the look of this easy keto. Grilled sardines. Rhubarb tart. Yum. Pumpkin pie protein balls. Mm. I like this one. I think that's going in the trolley. Interesting idea if you don't know what to get someone. A initialed mug and some other mugs here. Oh, I think I love this one because I said so. Yeah, 100%. 100% because I. Oh my gosh, my brain has too many tabs open. That is me. That is actually me right now. I think I'm going to get this as a little gift for my boss because this makes so much sense. And I need to get this one for my co-worker because I think those are just perfect. So there you go. Perfect Chrissy gifting ideas. I'm actually going to get this for my auntie. May your coffee be strong and your students silent. If only. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I'm so glad I came. Okay, now we're getting into it. Look at this. We've got some Santa. Oh my gosh, Santa is holding up the cake. That is a bit cute. Um, cake stands and these double walled glasses. Not very practical, but that is a bit cute, I have to say. Hand wash only, obviously. You've got a snowman and actually, you know what? They actually look better upside down as a little display. Okay. There you go. Oh, and we have Christmas baking trays. Oh, very nice. Coasters or little plates here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. I love this gold handled serving board. That is gorgeous. Right, I'm a bit tempted by that one. And this. Oh my gosh, that would look so nice on the counter, just like set up on itself, wouldn't it? Oh, and it's a different wooden one too. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? I think I'm prefer, I prefer the dark one, I think. How gorgeous is that? Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know now looking at them. What do you reckon? Oh, I feel the dark. Go with the dark? Oh, I'm going with the dark. Here we go. Towel shaker set, another nice idea. And oh my gosh, what's this? A kombucha starter kit. Now that is a wonderful idea. What does it contain? One glass jar, thermometer, kombucha scooby cloth. Kombucha scooby. Okay, so what do you have to do? By this. What does it say here? It says boil water, add point of white sugar, black tea. Start it for your next broth so you never waste it. So it's like ongoing. Alright. Okay. I'm willing to give this a go. Gosh, this is cute. Apple drinks, isn't it? 
sorry, I'm not talking properly today because um, I haven't had my boost juice yet. All right, let's make our way forward. We're gonna get stuck here. Says the girl who only came to get some work shoes. Yeah. Oh my goodness, these little trees as well, like a matching tree. <sighs> that is also very cute. Oh, I know. I can not only probably use this as like a display thing. Yeah. Super cute, but it's not very obvious the writing, is it? Yeah. I think I prefer my... Ooh, this is an interesting one. I prefer my board. Ooh, that's lovely too, actually. Oh, I think I'm very partial to this one. What am I? No, I don't like the side. This one's quite cute though, it's got that strip down the middle though. Is that too stark? I think I got the best one. Yeah, stick with that one. Stick with that one. Serving tray. Gosh, just so nice really. So cute. You can just put a display on. We might just take that and then consider later. Okay as well, it is deathly quiet in here. Like nobody is here and I'm wondering why. So. So um, right, let's get to it. Let's get to the shoe section or we'll probably get stuck somewhere else. Oh my gosh, all the bathroom stuff is sold out. I wonder nobody's here because everything's sold out. Cute little hand towel moment. They are so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I don't know if they go with house, but they're so cute. Anyway. <laughs> In the world is this, a toaster and an egg cooker. What? in the what in the what now this is a great gift for someone who has everything as if i've never even heard of this before and oh cute boiling jug by the way another great idea cosmetics cooler look that is such a good idea in fact i feel like i need this to be honest because how much temperature sorry how much temperature how much um energy would it take for to keep this on all the time Possibly 50 degrees, which range 10 to 16 ambient temp. Hmm. Interesting. We still got the display waffle made, but this is the one that I wanted to get. All the waffles for the kids, but that's okay. We have ours now, so I don't need to look at it any further. Anyhow, that is a traditional way to make waffles. Oh, this is a cute little hanging plant situation if I was in the hanging plant arena of life. Nice little planter. It's very things are a bit cute, I have to say, aren't they? Look, feel that. Feel that. It's a bit cute, isn't it? I don't mind the look of these. How much is $15? Something to consider for the future, I guess. Oh, I want you to look at their pampers. Who are you? This is a bit artificial. A terrarium. I've always wondered what this was. What a greenhouse egg. Okay, succulents and cacti. My cousin's very into um, plants right now, and I got him seeds last year, but perhaps a little. Terrarium would be a nice idea. A terrarium or an egg? Terrarium. I think this looks nicer. I decided I'm going to part ways with this. Honestly, we're not going to be serving that much stuff. And we don't really do cheese and that kind of stuff. I've got other things. We can leave that home. Well, some very cute slinky nighties, but I have a funny feeling that stick to this material, which I don't like. I actually was eyeing off these pajamas, but now seeing them in real life, I'm a little bit underwhelmed actually. So, leave them. Cute little top and pants combos there. Nice pajamas, Kmart. Okay, I am very impressed with um, Kmart cushions right now. They're really getting into the whole crummy thing. Nice thick quality too. Only $12 each. Yeah. Just don't like these colours. Goodness, this was the table lamp I was thinking about, this heavy based one, because I have vases that match as well. Oh, there we go. Now this is a bit battered obviously, but I'm assuming this is gonna come back into stock and I rather like this. I think this, oh, got a ring there. This is the lamp I'm going to be getting. So I will be looking this up to see if I can order it online or I'll just wait. Oh, this side is this guy up here. He's not looking too bad. And uh, him and him. I like those here. This is a nice little stubby one. Very cute. But yes, everything else is pretty much. Okay, this might be 
a little premature, but tell me who does not love this fucking hair? I'm sorry. That is so cute. <laughs> so practical. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, and the doing pens, this little, almost like a Christmas bauble effect. How gorgeous. Make nice little stocking fillers, these beautiful pens. Especially love this guy and the diamond ring. Oh my gosh, so cute. But this is my personal favorite. Kids kitchen. Look at this. With the arch window. This is my dream kitchen. Only $119. It should have come in. Why could you order? I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why, but this looks really menacing. I feel like I'm going into some kind of a, a dungeon. <laughs> I'm going to get swallowed in, swallowed up by shoes. All right. Uh, this is what I need. I need some cheap shoes for work. So, what size are you? Size 9, size 10. Oh, here we go. You no know, sizes left, of course. Size seven, yeah. Uh, size. Alright, give me a minute, guys. They want these ones, but they don't have my size, predictably. Um, I mean, I guess these are right. The sole is horrible, though. That's why I came up with where it's not one thing that I rate because the soles will end up killing your feet. There's just no support at all. But they are throw on work shoes, so not a plane, I guess. Little sockets with those. Do I sell sockets here? Let's have a look. Novelty giant glass. This is hilarious. I love this. Oh my gosh. I actually feel like this is like a great present for somebody. Alright, this is just funny. I think I have to get one of each. This is so funny. This is their Christmas tree range. Our Christmas tree that we currently have is from Kmart. It'd be nice if they had one that lit up, but alright. Little shoes that I was eyeing. Oh, they're so cute. I don't know if I'm into the whole sign thing. I'm not sure. And the mini Christmas thing, I think that's rather nice. That lights up, doesn't it? Cute too, really. Mm. Not many of those left either. Speak to me. Oh my gosh, they'll fluff everywhere though. Alright, maybe scrap that one. Very cute though. Nice for a little like hallway table or something. Came in here looking for shoes, came out with a bunch of gifts, but you know what? I'm actually so glad I found them because. Oh, no, we can leave that, darling. Leave that one. I'm actually so glad I found them because uh, I was really stuck for ideas. So, some advice, guys. Head to Kmart and all your uh, present problems will be solved. I can see that now. Is that cute? Alright, where's the hat? My hat kind of person. A practical for the sun, I have to say. Probably not practical, probably flat on it. Just at Aldi now, and what a sugar free chocolate digestives. Are you kidding? This is really up my street right here. Oh, and they got sugar free Maria's too. I've absolutely demolished this boost, but I'm sad to say I didn't get my birthday boost because apparently it only is valid for two days before your birthday and two days after. I mean, how cheap is that? Most places at least give you a month to use your reward. So I was very disappointed. So boo boost, exactly, yeah. Boo, boo, yeah, that's right. Anyway, it was still good. I still enjoyed it. Obviously would have enjoyed it more if it was free though, let's face it. Okay, and I now feel like I have gained a piece of myself back. Hello, it is a little bit of time on, I will admit, but I have washed my hair so we can see the color. Balayage still isn't as prominent, however, I do appreciate the highlights that were put in to sort of blend through the roots to the bottom as it was looking very top jack chocolate, I have to say, only in the reverse. The darker stuff, the darker, the darker stuff was at the top and the lower half was too light. But now it's sort of more cohesive, I'd say, but I'd still like to go probably a shade or two, maybe just a shade lighter. Anyhow, I've just feel, finished filming a favourites video. 
I've got a chance to just freshen up and have a shower today and do my new face and just just have a bit of me back so it's been really lovely just to do a little bit of self-care today amongst all the other things that I'm usually busy about doing with children so now that I have a moment to myself I'm going to just quickly go through what I did pick up at Kmart so without further ado in fact I might just bring the bag on my lap here guys uh, now I think our first stop on our way was uh, the uh, kitchenware section or the dinnerware section. What do you call that? Homeware section? Homeware section. There you go. And I spotted these very clever little uh, humorous mugs. And so I decided to pick some up as some gifts. As Christmas is coming up uh, and events are coming up, uh, if you celebrate things at the end of the year and you may want to pass on a little something to someone, these are such a great idea. I'm almost wanting one for myself because honestly, this is just me in a nutshell. My brain has too many tabs open like that. That describes me in a nutshell. Anyhow, another one because I said so. So I'm giving these away to colleagues and this is from my auntie. May your coffee be strong and your students be silent. So I thought they were nice little gifting ideas. Then randomly in the homeware section, I found this make your own kombucha set and I've never seen this out of Kmart before. Um, so I'm very intrigued because I do drink a lot of kombucha on the daily and it is quite expensive. So if I could save a bit of money by making it myself, I mean, why not? I believe it is just fermented tea after all. So it shouldn't be that hard. My fear is just basically getting the uh, biodynamics wrong and just uh, accidentally making us all sick. Well, only myself because I'm the only one that drinks it in this house, but... <laughs> I'm really curious to give this a go. I will let you know the results. So I'll go through this in a separate video, but still another great gifting idea for anyone who is really into drinking kombucha or on a health kick or anything like that. This is a, a very handy tip. And also it's the gift that keeps on giving because apparently you save a portion of your kombucha each time you use it and it'll start your next batch. So very, very impressed with this one. That was about $12, I believe, from Kmart. I've got all my prices here and the mugs were three dollars so nice little thoughtful gifts and then I picked this up for me but you could also pick this up for someone again who is on a bit of a health kick it is easy keto food for a happy healthy life apparently um, which it is to be honest I do feel a lot better when I'm eating well and I was just really attracted to some of the recipes in here like chili pork skewers yum and then wasabi crusted salmon look at me trying to pick up behind the book i'll just show you the book <laughs> and oh this is very intriguing intriguing look it looks like an avocado burger now that takes to the extreme but what really caught my eye was some of the sweets that were in here i did see a lot of sweets oh there we go there's a tres leches cake love a bit of tres leches Low carb chocolate muffins. Oh, this is what caught my eye. The sponge cake with berries and cream. I mean, if I can do keto and have sponge cake with berries and cream, yes, please. Yes, please. All right, beautiful. Then I just thought, well, I picked that up just for a few ideas for my uh, lunches and dinners and so forth. And then randomly, and I was not on the hunt for this, but this is what happens when one steps into Kmart. You come out with a whole bunch of things that you didn't intend on buying, but you desperately knew, you never knew that you needed. <laughs> and I picked up this, sorry, I'll go on this side because it interferes with the lighting, this lovely uh, board, which I wouldn't be using as serving. I think I'd like to use this as a display in a new kitchen, um, as I just really like the design. It's really festive, really understated, and a nice way to sort of um, celebrate the end of the year without going too glitzy and glammy. It's just a really nice way to just add that pop of festivity uh, into your home. And not to mention, I feel if I was to serve on this, I would be too afraid of like spilling oil or wrecking it. And not to mention, you'd lose the lovely, the lovely reindeer. So. I picked this up as a decor piece and that was that was eight dollars so pretty cheap for a really solid good wooden board now on to more gifts now I picked up this terrarium 
and I finally know what one is because a lot of people mention terrariums uh, and I'm not quite sure exactly what they're on about but I think it's basically creating an environment in a in a jar or a vessel um so sorry for the interruption guys I was talking about the terrarium somebody turned bluey off and the world was about to end apparently so anyway we're back now terrarium I think it's just a you're creating an environment in a container Again, I'll go over here in a container or a, a vessel. Um, you can plant little succulents and so forth, mosses. And I thought this would be a really nice gift for my cousin who's a really green thumb. So I thought this would be a lovely little thing he can uh, take care of in his room or in the house uh, or even for the family to enjoy together. So a little terrarium there. And I also picked up some novelty gifts because everyone loves a novelty. And in fact, the sad thing is, is that some of these things I wouldn't actually consider a novelty. For instance, this. Uh, so this is a absolutely giant novelty beer class that is 1.3 liters. And is it excessive? Yes. Would I drink that much? Probably. <laughs> I do like a beer now and again, guys. Um, and this is just, I thought this would be a lot of fun again, a really fun gift for my, one of my other cousins. And I will show it to you here. It is glass and it's just a fantastic big schooner, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up that one and then I picked up the other one uh, in the giant cocktail glass. I thought that would make a lovely present for another someone. <laughs> Especially, I think this is more of a birthday, so today I'm going to keep this one for a birthday as this is a real novelty thing. So um, yeah, found that unexpectedly at Kmart as well. So it was really good that while I was there, I was able to knock off a bit of my own shopping. Oh, most importantly, what I did shopping for myself. Hold on, apart from the cookbook, I did get myself something else. And that is this pair of black work shoes. Now, I was trying to steer clear of these because the sole, let's face it, is rather thin. And I wasn't too keen, even putting them on, I'm like, oh, I can almost feel the flaw in these. However, I have now worn them to work and they are so, so, so comfortable. However, I am a barefoot lass. I wear slippers around the house. I don't mind not having the support all the time <laughs> on my feet. So perhaps my feet are accustomed to not having that amount of arch support, but they are so comfortable on the feet and really breathable, which is super important considering I'm on my feet all day. Um, so I highly recommend these and I highly recommend them because they are three dollars 50 three dollars 50 people um couldn't imagine when i was at the checkout i was expecting to pay at least 12 to 15 dollars three dollars 50 for a pair of shoes i mean amazing amazing i mean i'm not sure about you but when it comes to work shoes i don't really go all out um because they're not fun you know what i mean they're practical <laughs> i like to put my money into the fun things as you probably gather on this channel <laughs> Anyway, my lovelies, I will see you in my next video. I'm going to keep this really brief because I have always an abundance of things to do and I have to get back to it. Um, and do pardon the caterpillars on my eyes. I was attempting to do a winged liner. I have no idea how to do it. So I think I'm going to look up some tutorials and do a bit of practice. Um, but yeah, from a distance, you can't really tell, but close up, you know, we've got the caterpillars going on. I have no idea. I was just trying to be a bit more glam considering I had a little bit of time to, to glam up today. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves and um, like and subscribe to support me in making more videos. Very important to get those subscriptions. And yes, I will see you later. Okay, ciao, ciao for now. Bye.